President-elect Donald Trump has officially selected former Governor Rick Perry to lead the U.S. Department of Energy. That story leads this edition of your Texas Political Roundup. If confirmed by the Senate, Perry, a one-time presidential rival of Trump's, will oversee American energy policy and its effect on the economy, the environment, and national security. The Energy Department is the agency Perry infamously forgot during a 2011 presidential debate. The third agency of government, yeah. I, would, I would do away with the education, uh, the uh, <laughs> commerce. I, I, commerce, and let's see, I can't, the third one I can't, sorry, <laughs> oops. Governor Greg Abbott is taking a wait-and-see approach to anticipated legislation that would ban transgender students in Texas from using the bathroom of their choice. Abbott said he hasn't seen any bill language yet. Texas business leaders have already voiced concerns over a so-called bathroom ban, saying it could scare off investment here like a similar proposal did in North Carolina. It's become a holiday tradition, Texas officials waging battle in the so-called war on Christmas. The latest scrape is between Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton and a Colleen Middle School. A principal at the school ordered a staffer to remove a Christmas-themed cartoon poster last week, which quoted Linus from A Charlie Brown Christmas. The attorney general came to the poster's defense, saying the decision to take the poster down was an attack on religious liberty. I'm Justin Dane. The state's top elected officials have a lot to say about border security in Texas, but are silent when asked about cracking down on employers of undocumented immigrants. Read more in our project, Bordering on Insecurity, at texastribune.org.